It's payday, fellas. Yeah. Drop, drop, jump out of the window. window. Moving like Debo with his back home. Oh. My mother's getting calls on the track for me. Coming for the hole, like I put it on my backbone. Yeah, yeah. Drop, jump out of the window. window. Moving like Debo with his back home. Oh. My mother's getting calls on the track for me. Coming for the hole, like I put it on my backbone. Yeah, yeah. Anim animal instincts. Instinct. Animal, animal, yeah. yeah, yeah. Animal instincts. Instinct. Animal, animal, yeah. yeah, yeah. An animal instincts. Instinct. Animal, animal, yeah. yeah, yeah. Animal instincts. Instinct. Animal, animal, yeah. yeah, yeah. Animal instincts. Yeah. Animal, animal. Yeah. Before we start this video, I just want to talk about what the UCL seasons slash league is. We will be playing charity games for points to get from Division 7 to Division 1, whilst raising money for various courses. To get promoted, we need to get 15 points in this division, which we are in Division 7, and also raise £1,000 for charity. 3 points for a win, 1 point for a draw, and 0 points for a loss. You will learn more about these games and how the UCL season slash league works, but for now, enjoy the video. Right, good evening everyone. Um, here we are back at Thamesmead, uh, Sporting Club Thamesmead for a midweek game. Tonight we are playing um, the London Fire Brigade. Um, they're like a rep mix side of their sort of first team stroke vet stroke um, rep side. Um, so yeah, it should be a pretty good game. Um, I'm expecting them to be pretty tough, uh, a very organised, disciplined team. So we, I think we've got our work cut out tonight. Um, we're playing a mix with the uh, sort of the club eleven as well. So we have a few first teamers. We've got a couple of the resis, and even a boy from the A's is coming along tonight. So, if want to get a good run or as decent a run as possible, um, there is a degree of seriousness attached towards the game. Obviously, it's going towards uh, our charitable cause. It's also forming part of our new UCL seasons. You'll see more about that. We've uh, played a couple of games already, um, and uh, we look forward to, uh, to tonight. So, I'm looking forward to a really, really good game. Um, we've got, as I say, we've got a nice strong side. Uh, but this isn't going to be easy, it's going to be tough, 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 but that's just what I like, no easy games, so um, yeah, for the people. Well, the first thing I'm going to say is um, that this is probably going to be one of the toughest games of the season that we're going to face, yeah, and I'm talking through league, I'm talking through cup, because I expect these guys to be very organised, very disciplined and very strong, yeah, so we need to be at it from the first whistle, basically, or we'll be punished. We will be punished. Going to run through the team. We've had to make a couple of little tweaks and twerks with today because we've, a couple of guys have turned up a little bit late. We're going to go with um, Brad in goal. Uh, we're going to start Paul right back. Kai's in the start left back. Two centre halves will be Weaver and Tommy. Two holding roles will be Raja and Dan. Um, we're going to go Ryan. Um, we're going to go. Ryan, Craig, and Chris to start with, but we're going to do 22 minute rotations, all right? So everyone's going to play an equal amount of time. Coop should be up top. Now, when we get the ball at the back, two centre halves, split up. I want to see Roger. I want to see Roger and Dan drop in to pick the ball up, and we'll pass through the, we'll pass through the field, but we've got to make ourselves organised. Uh, Craig, your job tonight is to sit on their deepest line midfielder when we're defending, break away from him when we're attacking, okay? But don't let them play, because I, I envisage they'll have someone in there that's going to be knocking the ball around. We stop that at source, give them, we'll have to, and we'll send them down a different route, okay? Just Harry, Barge, get the ball off them. Out wide, we go, we go at them, all right? Chris, Ryan, go, all right? Take them on, get past your man, let's get plenty of service into the box, okay? In these little 20 minute slots, give as much as you can because we will be changing it 100%. We've got a big target man in Coops up front when the ball's into his feet. We've got to look to go beyond him. But when we get the ball into his feet, when, we, when someone goes beyond, someone's also got to be ready for the set. Okay? Because on Sunday, all we've done, he got the ball, we all, we all run past him. Or we all stayed 50 yards away from him. Tonight, we need to join in and help him out. Okay? So if he gets it set into his feet, get beyond him and come up, someone gets in for the set. When we play it from inside, sometimes that first time dink is the ball. Don't take too many touches and lose it in dangerous areas. 
But if we play the way I know we can play and get the ball moving nice and swiftly, that's cool. Defenders, make sure our distances ain't too big between yourselves in the midfield, so they've got no one that can float into the space. Two centre halves, keep yourselves nice and tight, keep your fullbacks in nice and tight. When we attack, when we defend, we push them out wide. When we attack, that's when we offer width, okay? And we're going to win. It's a big game, fellas. Massive. It's a massive game. So tonight it's about us. We've got subs that are raring to come on. They will get runs, 100%. Okay? We can come back as well. We have got to fucking work hard tonight, boys. <clears throat> There's no two ways about it. All right? We're going to beat you up. Come in. <laughs> Everyone in. It's got to be loud, boys. It's got to be loud. Three, two, one. For the people! Come on, boys. Fucking on, eat me, Welcome back to another episode of the People's FC and our UCL seasons. Today we face the mighty London Fire Brigade, a team you don't want to mess about with, um, a very organised side, very physical and a uh, very uh, fit side, you could say. Here we have myself trying to find some sort of slot to sort of go through and drive, but I've been well tackled by one of their centre backs. Here we have the London Fire Brigade playing it long and a very good touch from the number 15 and a very good through ball. Can they get an early goal? And it has been well saved by Brad, our reserves keeper and captain. We have Kai playing left back out of position, but you know he'll do his part for the team. He's trying to play it up to Coops, he's managed to get it. He's gone for a shot and it is just whisk past the post. Could have been 1 0 early on. Again, we have Kai playing it to myself, playing the 1 2. Kai with enough space. Again, playing the 1 2, you could call it a 3 4 now. Here we have Kai playing the ball over the top to Coops to run onto. So Coops being a new striker, joined the first team, very composed, uh, very, very technical player. I'm sure you'll see more of him. But here we have Kai again, keeping the ball, playing it back to Weaver. Weaver just playing it short, keeping it calm with Paul. And here we have the London Fire Brigade on the edge of our box. It's looking dangerous. They've had a man free on the edge. They've gone for a shot and it's been easily caught by Brad. Brad with the long throw into Ryan. Good touch. Playing it forward. Can you go anywhere? And he's been tackled or fouled. I'm not entirely sure. But here we go again. Here we have their number 15 who seems to be dictating all their game. I've nicked it off him. But then... I think Weaver's gone for the, the tactical foul, so it's good if nothing comes off from this free kick. Free kick's been played into the back post and nothing coming from it, so lucky to get away with that. We have a corner played into the front post and it's been cleared by myself. Uh, Ryan's gone for the clearance and I've headed it out to Coops. Can we get a counter attack on? Coops is holding the ball up, he's looking for his options. Can't seem to find anything, so he's forced to play it back, and it's been hoofed up front. Uh, again, this is a game of ping pong. It's coming back and forth. London Fire Brigade with the ball, flicking it over very well. Good reverse pass. The ball's been intercepted, and I believe it's been given off for offside. Here we have myself playing a delicious ball into Chris. Can Chris get anything off this? He's one on one, and he's been tackled. You need two people to stop him, maybe three. There we have Ryan. Ryan just looking for his options, playing it out wide to Kai. Kai looking for his options. He's played it into Craig. Craig's flicked it over. Can he get a shot off? It's one on one. And he's gone for the shot and it's been blocked. And well cleared. Kai again, a lot of a lot of enjoyment down this wing. Play it into Coops. Into Ryan. Can Ryan get anything off this? And again, well tackled by the Centre back, but Ryan maintaining the ball, going for the shot and hitting the post. That could have been 1 0 early on, but the ball was still alive. Craig gone for the shot and it's gone wide. So, on first of many corners, I'm on it. I've crossed it into the box. Who else is going to be on the end of that? It's Captain Paul Ray himself, making it 1 0 to the People's FC. So the boys see themselves up 1-0 against a very tough London Fire Brigade side. Uh, London Fire Brigade going forward to their number 15. They look dangerous every time they move forward and it's been well defended by Tommy. Another uh, new first team player who will be playing at centre-back. 
We call him the Yeti. When you see him, you'll know why. But here we have a through ball being played into Chris. Can Chris get anything off this? He's gone for the shot and it's almost gone in. I wasn't expecting that when he shot it, but you know what? He's the golden boy. We have a cross being played into the box. It's been cleared, only fallen to Ryan on the edge of the box. He's gone for the shot and it has been well saved by the London Fire Brigade keeper. That is a very, very good save. Good tackle from Dan. Dan driving the ball forward. Can he get anything off this? He's played the through ball, trying to play the through ball into Coops. If that was pulled off, that would have been my assist of the bloody season. Here we go, we see ourselves with another corner trying to play it early and nothing coming from it. We tried the cheeky front post and it didn't work. Here we have Weaver on the ball. Can he do anything with it? He's gone quite far up. He's played the through ball into Ryan. It's looking delicious. He's knocked it around the keeper and he's missed. He's missed the open goal. I think he got caught in between his feet. But we could have seen ourselves 2-0 up. And here we have their centre back. Playing it to their left back, who's played a nice ball through into their 15. Gone for the shot, and it has been well saved by Braddock again. Here yeah, we have another corner, it's been played in. It's been cleared by Paul. Only to a London Fire Brigade player, who's played it out wide again. They've played it into the box. Can they get anything off that? It's falling back post, and it's been cleared by Kai. But I think it's been blown off for offside anyway. Here we have London Fire Brigade again. Here you can see the size of them as well. All very tall, very physical players. It seems to be all London Fire Brigade at the moment. Number 15, let's get on our box. Can he get a shot off? And it's been well saved by Brad and cleared by the Yeti. Here we have the ball being played down by Dan. Dan driving. He's taken on three players. Can he get a ball through? And it's been intercepted, but nothing coming from it. Good fake there and a good through ball. And it's been missed. We are lucky, lucky to get away with that. Ball been played into the box on the other side of the pitch. People's FC with the ball now. Kai playing the dink into Craig and just a bit too far. Easy for the keeper. Weaver with the ball, playing it out wide. Can we get a cross in? We played it to Bill. Bill's played the 1-2 with Kai. Kai's cut back. He's gone for the shot and... He's hit the crossbar. We have seen that multiple times happen. We always argue whether it was a cross or not, but I'm pretty sure that was a shot this time. Dan with a nice turn, but falling straight into a London Fire Brigade player. Here I have myself just cleaning up and playing it short to Kai. So Kai to Craig. Craig with a nice nutmeg and easy clean up for the London Fire Brigade. So... The game seems to be died down a bit, but Coops has got it. He's gone for the shot, and look at that for a finish. I did tell you, very, very well composed finish. I'm sure we're going to get plenty of goals like that throughout the season, but my oh my. So, 2-0 to the People's FC. Can we go into the half with a clean sheet? So, ball in the middle again with Dan. Dan with a nice fake there. Play the Diags into Nana, who most of you are comparing him to Paul Pogba, but he's on the wing today. He's a very versatile player, um, can play in a lot of positions. But here we have London Fire Brigade on the edge of our box, and it's been well tackled by Craig. Again, London Fire Brigade on the edge of our box. Kai with the tackle. Playing it into Bill. Bill to Kai. Can we keep the passing going? That's the people's way that I like. So, into Craig. Back into Bill. Bill's tried to play the Diags, but I believe it hasn't fallen to anyone. So, again, Kai trying to get that ball over. It's been well turned. Ball is being played into the box, and it was a shout for a handball. I'm pretty sure it wasn't, but it's falling into Brad. Brad trying to start off the counter attack as well. It's fallen down to Coops. Coops just holding it up, waiting for the boys to come up. He's played it wide to Bill. Bill's played the 1 2 with Coops. Again, Coops trying to hold it up, waiting for people, people to come over. Craig on the edge. He's gone for the shot and it's gone over. Quite organised and we've had two little balls that have come in and undone us. Whether we've been a little bit, you've been drawn over and we've had a bit of a gap there or there's been no talking. 
mate, he's got in. We've got to stop that. If he could, if he could finish, we could be in trouble. But he's, he can't finish his dinner. But in the main, it's been good. Good old working performance. We're working hard. Craig, you're doing well in that position there. Um, we will make a couple of changes now. But the two that come off will be, will be coming back on. Uh, I'm going to give Coops a blow and Craig a blow for the next 15 or 20 minutes. You're going to come in up front. Nana, you're going to sit in the 10 and you're going to go on the right. OK? Hello? You're going to go on the right. Boys, the key to this is simple. When we commit them, when we go at them, we look like we're going to score every single time. Our pass selection's got to be right. But I heard someone say the right thing. We're all... No one's, no one's standing still. No one's giving him an option to go into his feet and maybe even do a one-two. You're all running away from the balls. You're all looking to be slipped. Yeah. When we get, when we attack, get them wide, pull them, pull them wide, and the central guy just, just be have a little bit of badge, have a look and see where the ball is instead of getting your, your nut down and trying to get in behind them all the time. Because there's, there's a little set there, a little pass, and then we get, and then Dan's got a shot in, it, shot in on goal. You're working hard, working really hard, having a good game at left back. Doing well, nice and tidy. And Mars, come on, Paul, great goal as per usual. Billy, good work. But let's not get too when we when we attacking, let's not, let's not get too narrow. Let's get let's keep width. Yeah? As you've said on many different occasions, if the ball is on the right hand side of the pitch, I want us to shuffle over. 20 yards. Normally Raj is doing that and he's been saying it and you've not been you you've been ignoring him. I'm going, lads. Just let's keep, keep it going. Moving. Let's commit them. Let's commit them. And let's be ruthless and put our ball winning. in the back of the net. Keep that going. Still clean sheet. Clean okay, sheet. clean one sheet. One goal changes it, boys. Yes. That's, that's, it that, does. That's, that's for, either, for either team, one goal changes it. And so. that's us. They Max, you'll be getting, getting on in a little while. Come in. They ain't getting a goal. Everyone in. Boys, get in. Come on. Boots, come on, son. Nice and loud. Who's on pitch? Mm. Three, two, one. To the people. Come on, boys. Hey, right, boys. Straight back in, yeah? So, 2 0 to the People's FC. We go into the second half, looking to make it three, maybe four, and trying to keep that clean sheet. That is the main thing. So, here we have London Fire Brigade just playing the Route 1 football. It seems to be working. They're one on one, and Brad with the good save. The shot, if it was any better, definitely would have gone in. But it was straight at the keeper. But again, London Fire Brigade looking lively in the second half. They've gone for the shot, and again, Brad keeping us in the game ball been played into the box and it's gone out so here we have Dan playing the through ball into Ryan um, it's been mis kicked Ryan one on one can he make it three he's gone for the shot and it is 3-0 to the people's FC um, I think one of their players has collided with Ryan I'm not entirely sure what happened there but it was a very well taken goal I must say it was very very heartbreaking um, the London Fire Brigade down there are not a team you want to play against if you are out of form because they will punish but the boys see themselves 3-0 up and a throwing has been given to us here we have myself with a semi gigantic throwing but it's been cleaned up Ryan trying to get the ball pouncing on it and it's been headed by Tommy he's played it into uh, Nana who's then played it to Kai Kai trying to play that Diags um, not falling to anyone has been cleared by the London Fire Brigade centre back. So here we have their right winger trying to play football, and I believe it's been given as a foul to the London Fire Brigade. We know that physical teams can hurt us. They've been played into the box and it's hit the crossbar, and it has been cleared by one of the people's players. Here we have Nana trying to play a direct ball into Brian. Brian turning on the burners. Um, I'm not sure what's happened there, but I think it's been cleared. Um, but again, we have our fans here and some of our players from our other teams watching. Here we have Dan, who's accidentally flicked his hand into one of the players' eyes. So it is going to be brought back and the ball is going to be given back to the London Fire Brigade uh, for a free kick. So again, a very identical free kick to be played in. It's been played into the box and it is one goal to the London Fire Brigade. We haven't managed to keep that clean sheet, but it is 3-1 now. I must say, headering that balling very uh, hard to do, so um, I've got to give credit where it's due. 
Again, we're giving silly fouls on the edge of the box. Can they grab another goal? Very good ball being played back into the back post, but again, luckily nothing coming off it. So, London Fire Brigade getting a lot of joy down this wing now, so their left wing seems to be the outlook, but Dan, being the strong person he is, managed to hold it off. Um, I've tried to be smart of it, but I've lost out, and it has put the press on us. Luckily, Chris grabbing the ball and getting out of it. Here we see a very dangerous free kick again, and it's gone wide. Um, again, luckily not on target, because I'm pretty sure if that was, that was definitely going in. So, header being played back, can Ryan get an end of it, and it's been spilt, and keeper with a well-recovered save. So, here we have myself, I've gone in for the tackle, and, oh man, I remember this one. Um, my leg got caught in between the legs, and I had a bit of a strain on my glute, so I did um, have to, unfortunately, come off later on in the game. But here we have a free kick um, in the London Fire Brigade half and nothing coming from it, just going out of play. Again, this left wing seems to be a lot of joy. Here we have myself playing the ball into Brian. We're on the counter attack here. It's been played through to Chris. They're calling for the offside and they have got it. So a very, again, a very, very tight offside. Um, but I don't think we've been offside once during this game. Here we have a throw in, um, not gone that far. Falling back out to Tommy, who again, another player with a gigantic throw. Coops with a shot and he has made it four. That is two on his debut for the Peoples in our seasons. Um, again, a very well, good turn and a first time finish. Lovely. So the substitution has happened. We have Max from my A team who has come on for myself. Um, here we have him on the ball who's been uh, tackled. Bill's gone for the shot and it's gone wide. Maybe if he let Coops hit that and get his hat trick, may have gone in. Here we have the ball lumped up into our half. It's, it's one on one. And Brad again with another cat-like save. Here we have Tommy going for the clearance. He's fallen to Chris. Can he make it five? Here we have Coops making a run, trying to split the defense. Chris with these magical feet of his. Um, and it has gone out for a corner. That was a very good tackle there, I must say. Here we have a corner. And Max has mishit it. And it's been cleared. So Ryan again putting on the burners, getting the ball, surprisingly. So actually, I'm not surprised because he's a very pacey player. So we have Ryan. Playing it to Cray. Cray going for the shot. It's been blocked. It's fallen to Coops and it's been well saved by the London Fire Brigade keeper. And we have Rory who thought it was going in, going for that early celebration. Here we have the keeper with a drop kick. Well over halfway, hitting almost our third. So the keeper has a very, very long uh, kick on him. So the ball's been picked up. It's been cleared by Tommy. Can Tommy get another block off? And it's being cleared by a people's player. So, corner to London Fire Brigade. Can they get another headed goal? It's fallen in and on an audacious uh, overhead kick that was going in, I believe, and well cleared. But the danger still looms. Um, here we have Bill trying to hold it off. And who's managed to outrun that tackle? It's still Bill on the right wing. He's running all the way. He's played it through to Coops. He's played it to Chris. It's fallen to Max. Max gone for the first time shot, but I don't think he thought he had that much time on the ball. But again, that would have been a very good goal. The battery did end up dying and we did manage to get one more goal. So the final score ended up being 5-1. I just want to say a massive thank you to London Fire Brigade for coming down and donating to our cause. I wish them all the best for the season ahead. Right. Guys, great result. They're no mugs. They're a good side. They play in a proper league. There's some good players. We'll play a lot worse this season. Yeah, it's a good test for us. It's a very good friendly game for us, and it's good for our UCL season. It's a, you know it's another good win for us. Yeah, that wasn't easy. You boys have had to work hard for that tonight. We've had to be organised. We've had to be disciplined. We've had little little bits of time where we, we've been a bit slack. But hey, again we're new. There's new combinations in defence and in midfield. But in the main it was good. We could have had a few more to be honest with you. 
in defence there was good performances, in midfield really good performances, up front good performances. But tonight for me, my man of the match goes to Bradley. Fucking brilliant. Right. First team! <laughs> first team! Up the resi. All I could say is I'm the best manager in the league. Thank you very much. Everyone in! Everyone in! Come in! Get your gamma now. For Max. Quick. Hurry <laughs> <laughs> up. On three gamma. Go Dos. Who's Hurry up Dos, you fucking little. On three Max. Three, Max. three, three two, one. Five. Oh, that was so uneven. Get your gamma now. Oh yeah, and um, we get a... where's Max? Come here. Covid. <laughs> Kudos to Max for his first run out for the uh, for the rep side. Well done, mate. Listen, if you check, leave your girlfriend to have to get changed, alright? Good boy, well done. You want to say anything on the camera? No. You, you happy to come on? Yeah, yeah, yourself, yeah? Hello. Good boy, well done. Um, for the people, for the people. We'll have a chat with you. Good day, man. You know when I say things, you should listen to me. Alright? Alright, yeah? Yeah? You're getting bad pictures. Hey, listen. Right, yeah, so um, good game for us tonight. Really enjoyed it. Um, uh, good, strong opponents in the uh, London Fire Brigade. Um, great game. What did you make of it? Yeah, like, I don't know how many chances we wanted, but I think it was just one of those nights when I think we had second half, uh, centre half, Jimbo had the header, is it the crossbar? I just sort of put my head in the hand and went, it's just not falling for yeah. us. I think we created, we had three chances in the second half early on, your keeper. Listen, for me, man of the match. Yeah, we, we, we made him man of the match, yeah. Um, Great save, and as I said, one chance you've gone through, and that was the difference. I think you were just clinical in the areas that we weren't. Yeah, Final yeah. third, we just need to sort of... It was, yeah, I agree. I mean, I think your man up top in the first half had a couple of good... There was a couple of half chances that he snatched at as well, but yeah. you know, I think one of them goes in, it might be slightly different, but... Um, what um, what division are you, uh, are you guys in? So, we run... We have uh, we call we have a representation side, so we have an open agent of vets. They play in the fire fire service UK and England Cup. Uh, so the UK obviously we travel Northern Ireland, and that's playing against other fire services. And we've just entered a side into a, a new league, which has been set up for blue lights by two police officers from West Midlands. It's called the Emergency Service Football League. So it's regionalised, kind of Champions League style. Uh, we're in the London, so we've named it London Eastern. Um, our friends over in the Western Command, they put a team in. Um, so that's kicking off now. As I said, it's, uh, we've got Met Police, Prison Services, Ambulance, and it's across the country. Yeah. So it was something because all the blue light services, we haven't got that sort of central league. So it's yeah, yeah. brand new, just started. Uh, they've got you know a lot following. Excellent. Well, we wish you the very best of luck with that and uh, going forward. Um, where, whereabouts are you, uh, are you based? Where, where's your home pitch? So, we used to play at the London Marathon, but due to sort of where our games are fixed, we play sort of all over the place. So, I've got a lot of contacts in the league, so we've used Bolton Casuals' as grounds, uh, Crimping Casuals, mm. uh, Chesham. So, we've got sort of connections with clubs that, depending mm. on where the games is, we try and sort of, because okay. we're all based all over London, sure. uh, all the firefighters, so we try and sort of make it centrally that it's easy and obviously for the opponents we don't yeah, want to sure. miles away. Well maybe one you know in the not too distant future we can come over your way and um, we can have a return fixture maybe. I was about to say maybe next year. Yeah definitely. We'll have, uh, we're getting it sorted out pre season. Yeah. I mean we played one our first pre season was uh, two weeks ago against the parliamentary side. Yeah yeah. Days. So uh, first time we played them um, that was for a charity, that was for our firefighters charity. Yeah, excellent. Um, so that's that's becoming a fixture. We're gonna be there opening so yeah, I mean, Brilliant. we keep in contact and the source and Brilliant. All the best, mate. Good luck for Pleasure the season. Well Thanks, mate. Cheers. Super. For the people.